All right, uh, welcome everybody to H1Z1 Just Survive. This is a, a brand new uh, H1Z1. It's been divided into two separate um, games. So I just thought I'd give this a try and see what's uh, see what it's all about. I haven't played this in ages, since practically since it first came out. Too many uh, hacking issues and stuff like that. But anyways, let's check it out, see what's going on here. All right. Doesn't look any different. Uh -oh. Got a wolf. Well, well, grab those. Fuck, is those good? Got a deer here. All right. Hopefully, oh, let me see what the sign says here. Next exit. Oh, I wish I knew where I was on this map. Oop, there's that darn wolf. Get away from him. Alright, well, let's head for this um, this stop coming up off the highway here and see what we can find. Oh, another damn wolf. Oh, Jeez. I sure as heck don't feel like dying right away. I'll get down in here. Way to start at nighttime and foggy is all get out. Like I say, like I said, I was um, I, I got this game when it first came out. Um, paid my twenty dollars, grabbed it, tried it out, and he, almost immediately there was like hacking issues, um, and it just got to the point I just couldn't stand it anymore. So I gave up on it, but. Um, we're going to give it another try. See what's going on here. Uh, they're running Battle Eye now, which is supposed to be uh, much better for hacks. So we'll uh, check it out and see. Alright. Oh, oh, got a campsite. Cool. Okay. There's usually goodies at a campsite. seen anything there. Okay. Well, there's usually stuff to grab. Um, huh. Well, it just got started up again, so maybe um, maybe it's going to take a little bit for the spawns and stuff. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Nine mil. Oh, I want that. And, oh, he's in a gun too. Awesome. All right, already got our nine mil and some ammo. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Let's see if there's anything else around here we can grab. Check these two out over here. Oh man, we should equip that nine mil. So we already got a flashlight. We picked up the binoculars. Uh, got all those branches. Like I don't need those just yet. So I'm gonna drop those. All right, we'll get that nine mil equipped. Only got a few bullets to start with, but I'm sure we'll find some more. Definitely gotta get some clothes on us. Scrap metal. Uh, I can't really do much of that just yet. Binoculars don't need another pair of those. Alright, let's get over here. Let's see where we are. I'm gonna check to see what uh, 14 West. Uh, oh, geez, there's a zombie already. All right, well, we've hit a subdivision here, so um, we're going to be okay, I think. We'll get inside here. Look for some food and stuff. There's a crowbar. 
Uh, I think I will grab that. A whole bunch of branches. Let's see what's in these. First order of business now is food and ammo. Uh, we should grab an empty bottle. All right. Sweet. Okay. Hang on here. Um, Alright, well, we'll hang on to all those for now. Zombie. Yeah, check this. I don't think I did. I hear him. He sounds like he's close. Oh, yeah, there's, there's some crane nearby. Whoa! Jesus. They're normally not inside. There's one there, too. Okay. Damn. That's not so good. That'll come though. I don't want to start building or something. Alright, let's get inside this place. There's one in here. This is usually a good place to find some ammo. No, uh, <laughs> maybe not this time. Stupid keys. Not another one. No, no ammo. I uh, don't need another cap. What's this? Is that a grenade? Oh, shit, I'll take that. Another grenade. No, food. That's the that's the big one right now. Food and ammo. Food and nine mil. Let's check these file cabinets out. It's usually the file cabinets you find the ammo. I'll take those. I, I'm not gonna touch the coffee yet either. I think I have an idea where I am. Um, not positive, but let's see if we can get past down here. I was right here. I want to get to uh, to the town as quickly as possible. Whoa! Okay. Let's see. Um, what do we need? We need a battery. Yeah, okay. 
All right, well, that's one vehicle we can use if we find a battery. All right, let me guess, there's one inside here. Ah! Jeez, man. That was a terrible shot. Let's see if I can get him to chase me out here. Come on, buddy. Come on out here. That's it. There we go. And then we'll go back around the front and lock that door. since I played this dark game. Motorcycle helmet early. Hmm. Oh, that door's open. Jeez, that's really good. Exotics, yeah, we'll grab those. Ah, oh, where's that damn flashlight? Check this car. <clears throat> two scrap cloth. I'll well, take some scrap cloth because we make bandages with that. Two box. Nothing in there. Well, I mean, they haven't done anything with the graphics or anything like that. Um, but I mean, they're pretty standard, anyways. Alright, so let's have one of these kits here. Alright, I think I must already look at those. Vitamins, oh goody. Bridge. Alright, well, there really isn't too much going on here. So, let's go find another house, I guess. <coughs>
check another house. Salt. Oh crap, I didn't close this door. Oh man. Boy, I gotta smarten up. Is this? Oh, this is the bedroom. Okay. Um, nothing in there. What was that? Is that a beanie? Yeah, it's a beanie. Take that. Check the Ottoman. Oh, nah. Combat knife. I'd rather have the hatchet and crowbar. What's going on in here? Nothing. Brown jeans. Yeah, nothing I need right now. So I guess we've done all the houses here. I'm still trying to figure out where I am. We well, didn't check that house way back there. Maybe I'll head over there. Or did I know where? Oh crap! I did check that one out. Okay. Alright, so everything here has been checked out. Damn wolf. Looking for is the shortest way to get to Pleasant Valley. That's where I need to be. Um, I gotta get to the police station. Yeah, you, you're fine where you are, pal. You know what? I should use that one bandage. 
better eat. Get some of this into us for our water. That'll help us with hydration. That's the thing. Thank God for these berries until you start um, finding water supplies. There we go. That'll hold us over for a little while. Okay, I do want to go north. That's a definite. Wet. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, that, yeah, because this gun, oh my lord, needs to be repaired. <laughs> That brought it up to... Oh, good, okay. Alright. Yeah, I never turned down those weapon repair kits. this one need? Just need spark plugs. <clears throat> well, I'll keep that in mind. Um, definitely. Definitely keep that in mind. Oh, is that a campsite coming up on top of it? Is that a wolf? No, it's a deer. Okay. Chased by a wolf. Nothing in this one. Nothing in that one. Alright, let's. Oh, geez, somebody's already got a damn car. Vehicle. Imagine that. All damage when I come down. Now that's kind of a little abnormal. I don't, don't remember taking fall damage jumping down off a little hill like that before, but well, maybe that's something new. I don't know. Or maybe it's not. I just don't remember it. Man, there's nothing in these vehicles. Oh, tarp. Oh, that's good. Water collector. Church down here? I think I did. Yeah. Police car. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be nice if this was ready to go? Oh, it's. Oh, I got a car. Not very good shape, though. Yeah. 
chased by somebody there? I'm not sure. Yeah, this thing's in bad shape. I wonder if I can ride in this one. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get in the church here. Well, at least now I know I can get to um, the city. That's probably should be my priority right now. I'm surprised that that uh, police car didn't need something. Because usually, um, usually they all need something. I would expect ammo in a church, yeah. <laughs> Nine mil ammo in a church pew. <laughs> oh, not a damn thing. Okay. Alright, let's jump in the car.
one is going in the right direction. Okay, yeah, I'm going in the right direction. Okay, good. And it's getting a little thicker with zombies, too, which means usually means we're getting closer to some kind of large summer or something. Good. 
Perhaps. No. Somebody just took my car. He must have had parts. Where's the damn backpack? Well, we're getting um, not bad, not bad. We're not bad of shape. All right, he's leaving. Oh, okay. Um, now, oh, nine mil. Station's pretty barren compared to what we've seen before. Let's go look up on the roof here. Nothing. Huh. Alright. Well, 
Okay, so we cleaned up that area. So let's try and finish this up here. See if there's any. Okay, here we go. What's this? 45. 44. Damn. I'm going to put down a 44 ammo, put down a 44 gun, not a 45. <coughs> Uh, I, that's their way of making you hunt. Hunt for everything. Alright, nothing too much there. Now there is an office building where I had great luck finding 9mm ammo, but um, I don't know, we'll see here. Not much. Coffee. Ah, oh, crap. Close this door. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, coming down with another cold, I think. Pretty much apart from the course. Yeah, I must get to the office building. I don't think all the stuff spawned in yet because this this just got going um, in the last little bit. This new version of it. Um, here. Um, Alright, we'll just check the basement. Oh, man, I forgot this part. Prison uh, section here. Uh, somebody just came in. Checking out the police station. Not surprised. That's usually where anything good is. Yeah, he found out there's nothing here. Well, I don't know why he didn't take that. Actually, I, I'm going to take an extra set of body armor. Stupid not to, really. Hoping to find um, the the one army uh, backpack. It's double the size of the one that I'm using right now. But anyways, that's not to be. So, right, what's going on out here? We got one there. Oh, 
Well, somebody took the other cop car. Ah, oh, they took my battery. Damn it, somebody took my damn battery. Shit. They took my battery. Damn. Oh. Well, I should have known that was going to happen. Taking that. What have I got? I've got a couple of bullets in this thing. Ah, can't believe it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get to. Uh, uh, we're just gonna run for it here. Yeah, to the hills. Not too far down the street here. And I have access to. This has gone on for almost an hour, so I, I'm going to cut the video off here, and I hope everybody enjoyed it, and uh, we'll continue on with the series and see how it goes. So take care, and bye-bye for now. All right, uh, welcome everybody to another episode of H1Z1. Um, so anyways, i uh, been kind of busy, puttering around, building things, and I thought I'd take the time out today to... Um, uh, show uh, anybody that's interested um, the crafting of this game and it's a little uh, some people find it a little complicated and I'm going to try and explain some of this so that you know um, you know the basics and uh, how to get wrapped around this crafting because it is it, it's a little different than most other games so um, let me see okay we'll go back in oh by the way this is my home now I built this. I've built um, uh, dew collectors. I built my shack, my deck, my ramp. I have uh, a couple of vehicles here, um, and we'll, we could go through that too, as well as what you have to do with the vehicles. Um, there's a path leading down to a garage full of vehicles, and that's a nice little area to go and get um, uh, scrap steel and. Um, metal plates and stuff like that um, so anyways I just thought I'd show you what I've done here and <clears throat> the reason I built here is we're basically right at the edge of the map here in the one corner and um, there's this one house it's a rather large house and this place uh, gives you all kinds of stuff uh, there's weapons in here ammo um you know everything food lots of food um like clothing for instance um just uh, i just picked up a basic bandana so we'll look for it now there it is in my um inventory and uh so what you want to do with this i already have one as you can see so what you want to do with this is you right click on it in your inventory and just click shred and what that does is it turns it into cloth and you need cloth for making your bed, um, bandages, all kinds of stuff. 
and um, as you can see I got quite quite a bit of stuff in here um, you know I got food I got seeds and I will we'll actually do an episode on gardening I got salt scrap metal metal shards nails gun parts got all kinds of stuff lots of food water dirty water and um, the dirty water will have to boil to turn it into clean water um, there's another bandana we'll shred that all right and you know medication um, you know your bullets uh, picked up a hammer and picked up two hammers actually and hammers come in handy for doing repair work and stuff uh, I've built my own gun repair kit uh, empty syringe there's my bandages easy to make bandages um, just need cloth and you can find lots of cloth so there you go so anyways okay so um, as you can see there's uh, there's food and there's all kinds of cabinets and stuff now uh, there we are there we just picked up a multivitamin um, and you just you just hit E prop E, e key and what it'll do is if it's empty now there's one there now there we just found some uh, 45 rounds so we'll grab those and like I said uh, this looks like it was raided uh, recently um, they didn't take the food now I did have just to, just so I knew when somebody was around I put um, some body armor in this one and it's gone it's the laminated uh, tactical body armor so obviously somebody's been here and found it so that just gives me an idea I picked an extra one up just for the heck of it so you just go to these individual cabinets and um, do your search get your e-prompt and we'll look around a little more here um, I don't really need much food right now I got lots of food so we'll go upstairs around here now there's more food here and you, you just just look everywhere um, in this game search everything especially the vehicles all right another bedroom here okay so here we go now I've just I found one of these and here's another one and it's a full face respirator now oh my lord look at this AR-15 all right well we are definitely gonna pick that up but something I have to do first is, oh yeah, and here you go, here's stagnant water. Now you boil that in a fire pit, um, and it turns it into good fresh water. And we'll search this. Now there's a knife here. Can't pick it up. I'm overweight already. I carry way too much stuff on me. So we're going to pick that up, but I don't have room right now. So what i got to do is i got to go back to my shed. And once we've picked that up, I'll, I'll start with uh, the oh, wrong door. Um, I'll start showing you how to do this crafting. Because uh, I don't want to miss out on that. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to use that weapon. But you can turn it into parts for repairing what you do have. Alright, so let me see here. i got to got to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, I've got two boxes that I made here, storage boxes. This is it, though. The, the, you, it's, the weight is not an issue. It's how many different items you can put in a box. So let me see what I can get. Okay, man, mandarin oranges. Do I have any of those in the other box? I've got salmon. Uh, I can't put any of these away. Okay. Um, what else do I have here that I might be able to put away make some room oh and um, one of the most important things in this game of course when you're first starting out is um, food of course um, and there's lots of berries so you pick berries and eat berries to keep yourself going and the first thing you want to do is make your way to uh, the big city and find the police station and hopefully you'll find a tan military backpack in one of the lockers in the police station uh, that's where you're going to find weapons ammo and of course backpacks this new version of the game um the older version used to find backpacks here there you know uh, smaller ones of course um but i've been around this map quite a bit 
and I have not found any backpacks other than at the police station. So I would make my way to the city and uh, get yourself a backpack. That way you can hold more stuff. As you can see, like, you know, you're only allowed six items up to 50 pounds in your blue jeans, uh, your, your t-shirts the same, six items up to 50 pounds, and then your belt pouch, um, where you got three, six, nine items up to 100 pounds. And that's it. So until you get a backpack, or you can actually make a backpack, but again, it doesn't hold near as much. Um, but we'll get into that in a minute here. So anyways, I gotta unload some of this darn stuff. So what can I, do I have any cloth here? No, but I got, um, I got salt. Put that away. Um, let's see what I can get rid of here. Geez, I'd like to. Uh, I, I got to make another container. That's that's the only thing. I have to. Definitely have to make another container. Um, all right. Well, here's what we'll do. Let me see. What have I got? But isn't much weight in one of these boxes. Jeez, I'm carrying so much stuff. All right, well, we have two AV turbos. Turbos, so I'll grab one of those, and I just made room. And what I'll do is I'll put my uh, I'll put my shotgun. There we go. And now we'll go and grab that. Uh, go and grab that machine gun. It's a nice little find. Now I can't remember where I saw it though. <laughs> uh, it was upstairs. That I do know. Was it this room here? Oh. There it is. AR-50. Oh my goodness, wait a minute now. That's another one. Holy smokes. Okay. There's another one in here. I'm sure of it. There it is. Is that an AR-15 too? It is too. Oh my lord. Okay. Um, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to create another, uh, another box. Another storage box. Um, this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm sure I'll be able to do it. So that'll and that, and that way we can give you an idea while I'm doing that of how to craft. All right. So, anyways, where do we put that oh, pump? Okay. Let's see if we can't switch those two over. There we are. Actually, let's go and get that other one right now. That's supposed to be a metal door. I built a metal door, and uh, I, I don't know why, but it, um, it doesn't look like a metal door. It's like a wooden door. Anyways, we'll grab that other rifle. It's out here on the deck. There we go. I don't even have any ammo for the darn thing. But, you, I mean, you can make your own ammo. Um, you can make ammo you need from other weapons. You have to pick up one one piece of ammo for a weapon. You can put it in your discovery menu and um, alright, pump action shotgun. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, oh, darn. Um, and there's no more room. Or is there now? Wait a minute. Can I th drop that in there? Oh, you can. Okay. Um, all right, so we'll put this back. I didn't realize I had I could add more to that. I was having difficulty the other day doing stuff like that. Let's see if I can um, add more stuff on this side. Empty bottles. Well, we'll get rid of this empty bottle. Oh, I hear the wolf. I've killed enough of those darn things. I've got some more cloth here. We'll get rid of that. As you can see, I've been collecting a lot of stuff. Um, tarps are important for dew collectors as well as making your first bed, uh, along with cloth. Um, 
wood uh, as soon as you find an axe. And you're going to find an axe. There's lots of them around. You'll find them in campsites and all kinds of places. Um, lighters. Good, uh, good thing to have. Uh, and you'll find those too. They're, I, they're not... They're not rare, but they're not around a lot, too. you got to do a lot of searching. Okay. Um, let's see if I can add to this one here. All right, so I got salt. Did I pick up any more salt or sugar? No. Uh, but I do have these darn seeds I'd like to get rid of. Okay. Uh, any more seeds down here? Corn seeds. Alright, wheat seeds. Okay, um, let's see if we can get rid of some of this more of this food here. Okay, we can. Any more canned food. Trying to make room here. Um, see, I'm only allowed. I'm I'm up to eighteen hundred and twenty-four pounds, and I'm only allowed two thousand. Forty-five round, forty-two round, forty-four round. I'm using a forty-four right now. Oh yeah, this. Um, I'd like to get rid of this too. Oh, it is going to let me. You know what? I'm going to grab that other one. Um, when I try to put it on, it doesn't allow me to, but I'm kind of thinking... Um, I'll have to get rid of my helmet. And I picked up a pretty decent helmet, actually. I really don't want to have to get rid of it. Is that it there? Yeah, that's it there. Full face respirator. Um... Green camel pants. Jeez, you know. Let's see here. There we are. And the blue jeans. We'll shred those up. All right. Now there. See now there's an axe. Um, and there's always clothes. Usually in these houses. And uh, it's. You don't want to pass up the clothes too often because. Um, you will end up using a lot of cloth in this game. Alright, we'll look up here. Okay, there's a knife there. Don't need that. Alright, there's a hat. Shirt. Okay, and what we'll do, we'll go in. And we'll shred. So you right click and you and just click shred. <coughs> Alright. Now we'll search this while I'm here. Um, and you always want to take the pills, any kind of pills, antibiotics, cold pills, anything like that. Always take those. You are going to use those. Okay. All right. Looks like I pretty well cleared this area. All right. Might as well go down the basement. All right. So there's food down here. Oh my lord, look at, oh my, oh man, do I want one of those. The silent killer. Okay, so <laughs> we got to, uh, we got to go back up. Get rid of a weapon. Let me see, what can I do here? That's 250. Oh, darn, I can't. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of another thing here. Oh, I've so wanted a crossbow. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's see if I can drop in my shotgun again. Not gonna let me in that one. What? Oh, man, some weird shit going on here. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go pick up a crossbow because I really want that. 
Um, boy, this house is really starting to drop some nice stuff. Alright, let's go and get that crossbow. And then we can start making uh, arrows. Oh, it's not going to let me pick it up. Come on. There we go. Man, I can't pick those up. Alright. Let's see if there's anything else really special. Well, we got all this water. We should pick that up. Uh, oh, more ammo too. 12 gauge. Good. So I do use my 12 gauge. And just um, just keep in mind. Oh, here's another thing too. Um, now, if, if you find something inside something that you already have, and you want to come back, like if you're coming back to the same area often to loot. What you want to do is right click on that and drop it. And what it does is it empties it and then when it's time for something to spawn in it might be something different, something better. So keep that in mind when you're playing this game. Um, let's look at the wardrobe here. So we'll shred that. Alright, oh look at this couple of shotguns over here. Look at all these damn shotguns. Three shot shotguns. Oh wait a minute. Oh! 308 hunting rifle. Oh, okay, and I have some 308 shells. Perfect. Okay, I'm grabbing that. Yeah, somebody must have came and just cleaned the house out while I was down. Alright, let's see what we can get rid of here. Um, I don't know if this will allow me to put any more in there. Let's try. Okay, yeah, I can pick up the 308. Perfect. Wow, talk about. I'm. I apologize. I was. I was meaning to go into the. Um, uh, the grassy menu uh, to show you what's going on, but this this is the last thing I'm going to pick up here, and then we'll do it. Okay. All right, that's good enough. So I'm happy with this man. Boy, what a loot grab. <coughs> Okay, so we'll start work by showing you how to uh, do this crafting. And what I want to do is I'm gonna, I want to—I definitely need to craft another storage uh, box up. Um, so let's see. Now, what you want to do is, like, as you can see, I got a whack of items here. And what you want to do is now you start out with four basics. You start out with planks, wooden planks, wooden sticks, and I believe a campfire. And one other thing, and I can't just remember what it is now. Um, hang on, let me go into crafting. Oh, bandage, bandage, and sticks, planks, and a fireplace. So you start out with four. All right. So then, what you got to do is, as you're collecting stuff, you go into what's called your discovery, and you can see see there's things that are highlighted. Like there's a 12 gauge. So, okay, well, let me see. So what you do is you click on the 12 gauge. And it says there's one possible unknown recipe if none of your items are highlighted, blah, blah, blah. So what you do is you go back in here and you look to see if there's anything else highlighted. Now, in this case, there isn't. So uh, let's try the syringe. Uh, there are three recipes to find and more components to begin discovering recipes to make from them. Okay, so we'll go in here. Now, see, there's nothing, so I, I don't have the other things needed to complete this. So that's what you got to do. You just keep doing that. Um, now, in the case of my... Now let me see, what else could we do here? Uh, cloth, twine... Let's see if there's anything else. Now there are a couple of recipes. Now you you need the items to create these recipes. So as you can see, there's nothing in here else highlighted. So I can't finish that recipe. Um, I should bring these down here. Combine them. There we go. Alright, so let's see if there's a... Okay, dirty water. Okay, select inventory items to discover new crafting recipes. So, so I threw the dirty water in here. Now, it's it'll say discover. 
So you click on Discover, and it comes up Purified Water Recipe Learned. So that's how you do it. <clears throat> so we'll go back into Crafting, and you can see like um, Bandage Barbecue. Uh, barbecue was metal pipes and scrap metal. Basic bandanas, just cloth. Uh, basic shack doors, wood, and nails, and other things. Um, coffee is a can of coffee and 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 uh, purified water. Deck foundation. Now, once you get into the building end of this, now the deck foundation, I had to put in wood logs, wood planks, nails, and metal brackets, and that's how I found out how to make the deck foundation. Uh, demolition hammer uh, you just need one pipe so that's how I was able to create um, the recipe for demolition now the dew collector here's uh, here's one that you want to start with fairly early so you, you obviously need axe so you need four wood planks four wood sticks and one tarp and if you put them in that order now um, there that's another thing now um, Say there's four items to make one thing. If you switch the order of those items, it'll find another recipe. So in the case of, let's say, uh, my deck foundation. So I need it four items. But let's say I put the brackets first. And then four wood, 16 wood plank. Or you don't need the, that number. You just need the item. So I could have one wood, one metal bracket. And say one wood log, six or one wood plank, and one nail and click on discovery and something else come up like possibly uh, foundation expansion foundation ramp foundation stairs um, but you have to have at least one of the item to learn the recipes in this crafting it's it's kind of a pain but um, once you get wrapped around it once you get the hang of it it's it's pretty uh, pretty easy as you can see, I've got all kinds of seat plated body armor, punja sticks, different two different types of purified water, one from dirty water, one from stagnant water, uh, repair box. Okay, that was uh, that was plank, nail, and bracket. Saline, that was uh, salt and purified water. Uh, the satchel um, to make a satchel, six scrap cloth. Uh, sleeping mat, of course, was uh, cloth and a tarp. Um, of course, there's small shack, plank, nail, bracket. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, the ghillie suit, that was interesting. Um, that, I happened to hit that just by pure luck. So that's uh, scrap and duct tape and uh, twine. So I can actually, if I wanted to right now, I can make a ghillie suit. Uh, this ghillie suit covers the head, chest, and legs with netting designed to look like foliage. So I don't know if that helps you when there's um, zombies nearby, but I'm sure it helps you when there's other players. Uh, so we got upper level. So for that one, to learn that one, we needed to have the metal sheet, plank, the nail, and metal bracket in that order. And then click discover. So it's... It's kind of a pain, but like I said, once you catch on, it's not too bad. So, anyways, I just thought I'd show you that. Now, work, now here's another important thing. Workbench. Once you get your structure built, um, you want to make your workbench, which is plank, stick, nail, and bracket in that order. And uh, once you make your workbench, and you can start breaking down different types of ammo and turn it into the kind of ammo that you want to use so that's uh, that's kind of important too anyways um, I you know I just thought I'd tell you that um, I hope that helps out for any of you that were confused again like I say just look for the highlighted items and if you have enough of the highlighted items and you you just click on the highlighted item and it automatically goes in there and then it tells you there are 14 recipes to find and then what you want to do is you want to just keep selecting the highlighted items. And if you have all the items, that's when it'll tell you you can discover the recipe. So there you are. All right, uh, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. And take care, and bye-bye for now.
All right, uh, welcome everybody to another episode of H1Z1. Um, anyways, uh, I've been kind of busy making things, building things. Um, I got some more walls up. Also made some uh, B boxes, and they seem to be doing very well. Let's have a look here and see what we got. Okay, so we got one honey, three wax. That's coming along nicely. One honey, two wax, one honey gold. Great. One honey, one honey. Okay. All right. Well, that's looking good. So I built some metal walls. That's around my base here. And um, I thought, you know, I should build a couple of those animal traps. Uh, so I thought, well, we'll check that out. Um, and apparently you can put them any old place at all, and they will catch rabbits no matter where you put them. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put them right in my, inside my barracks here. So let's go see what we need to make these darn things. Um, get up in Discovery here. Let, well, first of all, I don't think... No, I haven't discovered it yet. Okay, so let's go to Discovery. Um, well, nails for sure, wood planks, uh, okay, and it's asking for sticks, let's see, maybe this is it, animal trap, awesome, okay, alright, so let's go into crafting, so we can make two of them, so we'll start with one, Wait a minute, what did I just do? 308. Okay, well, I didn't intend on doing that, but animal trap. There we go. Animal trap. Alright. Craft. Alright, there it is. I wonder why I, how I ended up. Um... Alright, so we'll place this one down. That was weird. Alright, and like I said, apparently you can put the manual in place at all. So I'm just going to stick it, stick them maybe over on this side here. Um, let's put the load out here. Place. There we go. You know what? Yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll put one here. Um, maybe I'll make another one. Hang on, can I make another one? Crafting. No, I can't. What do I need? Forward planks. Forward planks, one stick, four nails. What am I lacking? Oh, I need more wood planks. Okay, cool. Well, we'll, we'll uh, get some more planks. Alright, so we'll look in here. I think this is where I have the wood. Crafting. Uh, with planks, with planks. As you can see, I've learned a lot of recipes here. Alright, so let's craft. I think you get two. There we are. Okay, so let's um, let's get out of here. And let's try another animal box. Animal trap. There we are. Okay, yeah, we can. Let's make one. There we are. Anyway, so that's how you do it. another one here. Oh, now that one's turned around. Funny. Okay, well, we'll put it here then. Okay, so there we are. We got two animal traps, and I'm assuming that when the doors are down, that means that we've got something. Anyways, okay, cool. So hopefully that'll get us some meat. Um, rabbit meat, which uh, helps out a little bit food-wise. Now the bee boxes, um, they are four wood planks, four nails, four metal brackets, and one tarp. And I had a hard time figuring that one out because I had no idea we needed a tarp in there. But it took me a while, but I finally figured it out. So anyways, that's 
how you make stuff. Alright, what do we got going on down here? I'm gonna get a few zombies. Oh, uh, that's another thing I wanted to do too. Um, I'm gonna put some more bungee sticks down on that trail. So let's uh, let's put all this stuff away that I don't need. And it looks like I got already some sticks. So let's see how many bungee sticks I can make with this. All right, so bungee sticks. There we are. Okay, I can make two sets. Okay. Throw some more of those down. Keep the zombies at bay. Buddy. Hey. Yep, right here, bud. I was kind of hoping I'd get a runner. <clears throat> these guys, I'm telling you, these guys, these uh, slow walkers, man, they're buggery. Like this in this server. Um. Don't waste your time trying to uh, kill these guys other than with a headshot. It just doesn't work out. Um, but anyways, we'll see if we can get this guy to come up and follow us up here. Yeah, come on. I'm caught with a red cat. Why aren't you something? Come on, buddy. Oh, there's another one looking like he wants to come, too. Yeah, here we go. Come on, up here. Come and play on my bungee sticks. <laughs> uh, no, no, you gotta go around the other way, pal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, get over the fence. Can you get through there? Oh, you can? Okay, cool. Come on. Alright, this is just taking too long. I feel like just tagging them. See if he'll still keep coming here. Come on. Oh, hell. He's just taking too long. Maybe I can get a runner. Let's see if I can get my arrow back here. There it is. Loot. One red cat. Oh, goody. Alright, come on, pal. You a runner? No, you're not a runner. Oh, I hear a runner. Where is he? Well, that one moves a little faster. Yeah, come on. Come on, you guys. There we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Come on. Come on, I want to try out these punchy sticks. For God's sakes, get a move on. That one's kind of glitching in the rock there, but anyway, okay, let's see what happens here. Keep coming. The ones I've already laid down are starting to hurt. <laughs> they've they've gotten used. <laughs> All right, come on. What? What the hell happened there? Looks like they all want to come up here. Oh shit! Oh my god! I think I started something. Holy lordy. Okay, here we go. Point into the bougie sticks. Ching, 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 ching. Wow. Here we go. My arrow back. Nah, let me see. Might as well chop you up, I guess. There we go. 
go. Alright, come on. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Whoa! That one almost made it through. Both of them, both of them almost made it through. Arrow. Alright, go the old hatchet. Oh, keep forgetting this. Alright. Well, that takes care of a few. Any more arrows I can pick up? Whoop, loot bag. I'll take it. I didn't even know you could do this. Harvest these buggers. Um, I just thought I'd give it a try. After you kill like a zombie, I thought I'd, well, I'll try and chop it up with the axe. And when I played this game when it first came out, I had no idea you could do that. Well, there you go. We learned something new. Anyways, um, sometimes you get infected brains from them and all kinds of weird crap. Alright, so let's see if we can get this one. Actually, maybe I'll just plug this one in the head. Hopefully I can get my arrow back out of that. Come on. Boy, man, the problem is terrible in this game. There we are. Well, that's taking care of some of them. I would like to get a few more rows of bungee sticks down, though. That would be nice. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What do we got going on here? clean this area up. Let's see if this one's a runner. Oh, it is, dude. All right. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. They don't seem to work all that wonderful with the runners. That one may have been finished off. I'm not sure. Can I not loot that bag? Oh, God. We'll go that glitch again. I, I, you'd think that they would have had these glitches all figured out by now. Infected brain. Oh, okay. I'll take those. Cool. Alright, now what? Um, 308 round. Where's the rest of them? They're there. Let's see if I can drag those up here. Turn that into cloth. Um, effective rain. I have no idea what that does, so I'm just gonna drop it. Probably makes you sick. Okay. Three light round. Why didn't that go up in there? How many do I have? Six. Oh, I gotta get rid of. Okay, we'll put the cloth down here. Close that. There we go. All right, now we got 13. Nice. I'm saving my uh, 308 rounds for if I really badly need a kill, an animal kill for food or something. And I've actually learned how to make them too. So, but you have to break down. Like if you break down two nine millimeter bullets, it would get you one 308 round. Yeah, come on, slow poke. I might even put down some more uh, punchy sticks. No, no, this way. Hey, hey! Oh, come on. Hey! Jeez. You're taking too long. What's the matter with you? That one's probably a runner. Oh no, he has not used a slow mo too. Oops. See, I hate these markers. There we go. They're, they're so hard to hit between the eyes. Not oh, goody. I got a cap out of that. Wonderful. Where's my arrow? Oh, come on. 
Alright, what else have we got around here? Uh, oh, yeah, I better pack this guy up. There we go. Oh, now I just heard that second arrow. Where did it go? God, good luck finding that. It probably glitched into the ground anyways. Yeah, most likely. Anyways, um, so uh, I'm other than the, the glitches that are still in this game, um, and there is a few of them, uh, it's actually not too bad. Um, running at anywhere between, say, 55 and 70 frames, which isn't too bad. Can't complain about that. Uh, I mean, it looks not too bad. But, I mean... I don't know. I've seen lots better, that's for sure. Anyways, let's continue on here. You a runner? No, I... Let's see. There we go. Just gotta follow that pattern and be ready for it, I guess. Infected brain, yummy. Let's get rid of that right now. All right. So we kind of cleaned up the area a little bit. It's pretty infested, I must say. Uh, maybe we'll grab some more sticks. I'll uh, see if this guy's a runner. Yeah, he's a runner. I would say. Well, maybe not. He might be the way he was walking. But he is coming my way. He's just not running. So we gathered some more sticks. And we might as well take this bugger out right now. There we go. What? God. Jeez, that's a pain in the ass. Oop, loot. Another cap, who cares? Okay, well, it is plot, but I mean, I have no problem collecting plot at all. More sticks. Oh, got a runner. Oh, cool. Come, come, come. Come get me. Hello. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna put down another thing of fungi sticks here. Come on, let's go. Was that a loot bag I missed? Oh, here he comes. He didn't even go into the fungi sticks. I may have to widen that a bit. Um, arrow? My arrow. Oh man, that's jeez. What is going on there? There we go. Oop, wrong way. Another infected brain. Yuck. Alright, well, <clears throat> again, like I said, I don't know what good those infected brains are, but if anybody uh, wants to leave a comment that knows uh, what use they are, I would sure appreciate it. Um, Anyways, uh, let me see. How many sticks do we pick up? Let's make some more fungies. <laughs> Fungi sticks. I'm going to make one, but that's good. Let's, um, yeah, let's get up the side here a bit. Oh, there's another grab bag. Oh, that's that one I dropped. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? We got. Boy, I'll tell you, cleaning up this area is not fun. Not that easy. There's so many of these buggers. Loot bag. I think you would get something better than just a bunch of caps. 
but I guess that's what they're wearing, so that's what you get. Mind you, now, I did kill... There was a... A zombie that was wearing a motorcycle helmet. And I killed him. And But do you think I got that motorcycle helmet? No. As a matter of fact, I didn't get anything from that guy. But that could have been a glitch. Who knows? Alright. Wow, this area is just infested. What the hell's going on? This is way out in the outskirts here. You got a runner here? Oh, that's a head swayer. Oh no, it is a runner. Oh, cool. Come on. Come to daddy. Would you stop? Get up here. There we go. Now let's see. Now that's better placement of bungee sticks, sir. Come on. Screw it. Alright. Where's my arrow? There it is. Well, at least we're getting scrap cloth. Something, anyways. Alrighty. What have we got here? Is this another runner? Might be a head swear. Everybody. Yeah, that's a head swear. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm not looting all this, um, I, I did it just a little while ago. So, there's another infected brain. Um, so it's almost pointless to come in here, really. Well, now there is an axe there now. Oh, things have started going back. Okay. Well, we'll grab uh, these. Empty bottles are good. Love my empty bottles. Come here. Serious? It's not letting me pick that one up. Okay. Can pick that one up though. Um, oh, and ammo. More 308. Lovely. Oh. I'll be darned. Oh, got a runner. Here. I'm right here, stupid. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Come here. Hey, whoa. Don't hurt me. Ooh, that's a fast runner. Come on. There we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, at least the punji sticks slow them down. That's that's a good thing. Alright, where's my arrow? There it is, but I can't. Oh, just had it. There we go. Shot go up. <laughs> All right, well, let's get back to business down here because I had no idea stuff was coming back that soon. Respawning. Let's see what's in here. Right in no. All right. Um, one and I love one thing I love about this area is there's no lack of hatchets. Like there's axes all hatchets and axes all over the place. So I don't even have to worry about repairing them. Oh, what? Oh, this game. That's just crazy. Alright. Alright, now what were we, yeah, we were so rudely interrupted, but what were we doing? Okay, we couldn't pick up that bottle for some reason, so we might well look at look at all these darn axes. Did I look in here? Alright. Oh, we got a pipe. Tarp, nice. Picking up lots of tarps lately. Which is a good thing. Alright, let's see. I gotta drop some brain. And I gotta turn these into cloth. That's another thing, too. A cat takes up 10, or is 10 pounds. I, I, I'm thinking that's what they consider pounds. But anyways, but if you turn that and you shred it, 
it turns into one or two um, scraps of cloth, so um, a lot less weight, so keep that in mind um, when you're trying to collect you know, material and stuff, uh, make sure you tear that stuff down, like especially shirts and hats and stuff. Alright, it's kind of quiet here now. I guess we can go in here and look around. Oh, wonderful. Jesus. You would think you'd get something better other than scrap cloth out of these cars, man. Anyways. It is what it is. Well, another tarp. I'm not going to turn that down. Okay, let's look at this guy. Did I check this one? Yeah, I did, I guess. Check these two vans. Come on, give me some scrap. Metal or something. Jesus, man. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Yeah, because I just did this, actually. Cloth. I'm not getting very good stuff, though. No metal. No. Certainly making my lots of tarps, anyways. Alright, so that's both garages. Oh, did I check this little car at the side here? Can't remember now. Yeah, it must have. Okay. Alrighty. Well, there you are. Didn't do too bad. Got some more fungi sticks down. I wouldn't mind grabbing some more sticks. Got another roll. What do we got over here? More sticks. Nah, I'm gonna have to eat soon. Yeah, we'll grab a bunch of sticks. can't get over how uh, infested this area is, has become. Um, we, got, we got one cutting kind of getting close there. Look at them all. If you go out front, they're all around the front too. Unbelievable. But anyways, it is what it is. Alright, so we got more Let's see if we can make some more plungies. Plungy sticks. Yeah, let's craft that. There we go. Alright, so uh, let's give me put one there. That's a pretty good setup. I'll have to start working on the front. Whoa! Oh dear! Come on, get back here. All right. Oh, I needed that. Okay, cool. You don't get many. Oh, I got the arrow back too. Sweet. Venison, animal fat. See the animal fat you need quite a bit of uh, for torches and all kinds of things. And that's what I'm kind of lacking right now. Did I get any empty bottles? Let's see if I got water here. Uh, yes, I do. Three empty bottles. Okay, so we got one there. Let's see if the other one's got in there. Yep. Empty. There we are. Alright. So that's how those work. Um, they are starting to get. Well, they're not. Health bars getting starting to drop on there, but nothing serious. Nothing lasts forever in this game. Um, that's for sure. Stuff you build, you got to repair all the time. A little, I actually had to put down this repair box. Uh, let's see how it's doing here. See, now I'm going to have to drop. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to drop some stuff in here. Um, but it's not too bad right now. But that's what keeps this this whole compound in repair. Is this repair box kind of a nice thing to put down, actually, if you got the the, the stuff to do it? Because uh, if let's say you can't play for three or four days, that will actually keep things in good condition for you. Um, so, anyways, all right. So we've got water. Okay, so I did make a barbecue. And now this is where you put your um, your stagnant water to make it into um, good water, and same as your dirty water from your water collectors. You want to put that in there, and you can also put your meat in there to cook it. And you can use wood or charcoal. I happened to luck out and find three pieces of charcoal, not all at once, but um, that was a really lucky find. All right, so what else am I carrying? Uh, da, 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 da. No, that's all good. I'm gonna have to eat soon, and we'll put pipes in here. So I got 45 pipes. Not doing too bad. Um, 20 tarps, so I should have 23 now, which I do. I got a crap load. I got over 500 scrap cloth. Animal fat. Um, where should I put that? Uh, let's put it in with, uh, with this stuff here. Yeah, with the empty bottles. So we'll put another empty bottle away. I've got 40 empty bottles. Animal fat can go in there. Uh, looks pretty good. So I got two purified water on me. The 308 rounds. Why can't can I put those up there? Yeah, I should be able to. There we go. Two, two, three rounds. I think. I've got some AKs, but I'm not a big fan. I'm just a waste of ammo. So I'll put the two, two, threes in here, um, so I can break them down later, make some more 308 rounds. Anyways, there we are. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and bye bye for now. All right, everybody, welcome to H1Z1 in uh, survival mode here. Um, so, need a few supplies, so I thought I'd run around and check things out. Um, see if I, oh, yeah, I got water here. Do I have any empty bottles on me? Yeah, one. Okay. All right. Well, grab that. Now, let's see if there's bottle inside the house here somewhere. Uh, let me see. Oh, we got some water there. Not empty, but we'll take it. So we'll do some looting. Just pick up anything we can get our hands on. We'll just start keep building those supplies. <clears throat> what we got here? Food. Right, anything in here? Let's see what this gives us. Funny, all cabinets. And you get a salt packet. <laughs> That's funny. All these cabinets here supplied us with a salt packet. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, there we go. Another salt packet. Lucky us. Well, we got some food out of that. That's good. All right, let's check these ones. Need another empty bottle. All right, so that's the whole kitchen. Do we check everything in the living room here? Yeah, I think we did. Okay, let's go upstairs. Uh, looks like somebody's been here. It's looking pretty bare. say somebody's been in here cleaning up. Oh, here we go. Take that. Boy, there's a lot of 44 magnums in this house. Oh, got some cold medicine. More cold medicine. Let's 
like we've pretty well searched this. Did I go in here? Yeah. Or did I know? Wait a minute. Yeah, I'll be done. It's all done up here then. Okay. Alright, well the only thing left is the basement. So let's go down there and see what's going on. Food. Food. Anything else? We got, oh. I will take that face respirator. I got a couple of them already. But I like to grab everything because if you don't, um, and you leave it, nothing new will respawn there. And what you can do is you can just drop it. I uh, will shred that. Okay, Got some food here. Got a bottle here. Check the armoire. And shotgun there. Not gonna worry about that right now. Not too much. It's been picked through pretty good by the looks of it. Alright. Um, so we didn't get another empty bottle, darn it. Let's go check the other house. The um, guest house, I guess you would call this. The beds. Alright. Bridge. Yeah, somebody's been, somebody picked through this, I would say. <clears throat> Definitely. Yeah, somebody's been up here. Alright, well, we'll go and dump this stuff off. And we'll grab an empty bottle up here. up soon. And dirty water. Just gotta put some cloth away. Put that down there for now. Okay, so what am I holding on to here? Uh, yeah, I better eat and yeah, I better drink. Awesome. We're right back up 100% on everything except for comfort, and that's 94%. So, I'm not going to complain about that. Let's cloth away now. Where's these empty bottles? No, oh, must be here. Uh, yeah, empty bottles. Alright. So, what we'll do is we'll just grab one here. Oh, um, to do that, um, what you want to do is you want to hold shift and click on it, and then you'll and then and then click and drag over, and that's when you get that prompt. Um, all right, so we got a bottle. I just thought I better explain that just in case anybody doesn't know that you can do that. All right. Water, so it's the second one. Throw the empty bottle in there. Get the dirty water. And I'll throw that in the barbecue too, and maybe we'll uh, show you how this works. 
barbecue works actually. Found some coal. Alright, so we'll put the dirty water in. So we've got um, four charcoal. And um, I've been very lucky with it. And I don't know if that's a glitch or not. But anyways, I'll show you what I mean here. Um, so anyways, okay, so we've got all this meat to cook. Um, we've got animal fat and some empty bottles. And if you do that, you get um, fuel for a vehicle. So let's light this up. Now, like I said, I got this charcoal, and that's rare, really, really rare. I've been very lucky um, to get four pieces here. Uh, anyways, there's purified water, two cooked rabbit, two cooked rabbit, uh, one cooked rabbit, four deer steak, one biofuel. One deer steak, one purified water. So it goes along pretty quick, actually. One deer steak, purified water, and another deer steak, purified water, purified water, deer steak, purified water. So it moves along pretty quick. Now that's the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the charcoal so it goes out and as soon as it's done and finished smoking then I'll put the charcoal back in now I don't know how long charcoal is supposed to last but I've been using the same charcoal and I've cooked a ton of stuff so again like I said I don't know I'm not sure it's purified water so we better split that up I'm only going to carry two on me at a time actually yeah Actually, no, you know what I'll do? Uh, I made some berry water. Where did it go? Blackberry juice, there it is. Alright, so I'll put away the purified water. Um, so I got how many empty bottles do I have here now? I've got six. And I'll take blackberry juice and that gives you a lot more um, gives you a, a lot more uh, hydration when you mix up the uh, purified water with the uh, blackberries and the biofuel I better put that away and it's in here there we go Jesus look at this mess here's my biofuel where the heck? There it is. Up to 13. So I got 15 now. Um, I'll put the cooked rabbit in the one. And the blackberry juice, I'm going to just grab two of it. So we're going to move four. And that leaves me two there. So I'll put them in there. And then the rest of this we can put away. Except for maybe the, well, I'll keep two empty bottles, but I'll put four of them in here for the next time when I have um, animal fat to make biofuel. Alright, and the rest of this we can tuck away. Okay. And I'm going to put sugar, salt away. Uh, there's the empty bottles. Oh no, I took it all out. Okay, so we'll put the four back in here. There we are. Oh, and the deer steak. Don't need to be carrying all that either. So there we go. That's good. So we're not carrying too much, so we'll go out and loot uh, the industrial area down there. Um, we got lots of room to grab some. And we need to chop down a few trees. Oh, and we got some more rabbit meat. There we go. Look at that. So you make these traps, and it doesn't matter where you put them, they work. So you, that, that's why I keep them up here so nobody can come along and steal my meat. And 
I should put uh, a couple of evaporators up here, or not evaporators, but dew collectors up here as well. So we'll put the meat in here, <clears throat> and it'll be ready. got this loaded with bungee sticks now, so if anything chases me up here, it's pretty much screwed. Oh, there's a deer. Um, I wonder if I can sneak up on him. He's quite a ways off, but let's try this. Okay, now he's on a gallop here. Hang on. Come on, slow down. Bugger. Yeah, I think he spotted me. Holy crap, let him go. Yeah, I don't think there's much chance I'm going to catch up to him. Oh, that, now I did learn, I learned a recipe for deer scent. I ended up with a, uh, with a deer ladder. And I'm assuming that if you use that, the deer don't run away. Look at that, there's three of them right here. Ah, missed. He was moving pretty quick. You know, I'm going to try that darn deer scent. Make that recipe. Well, we tagged him. There we go. Oh, I can tell you, this crossbow, man, I love this thing. Oh, there's my one arrow that I missed with. How convenient was that? There's another one. Any more? All right. Well, that's not too bad. Where'd those other deer go? Holy smokes, their history. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, he's up over there. Yeah, you just get stuck in a wall there or something, pal. Got him. Yeah, he's heading for the hill. There we go. Not a headshot, but I'll take it. Oh, come on. Oh, it's glitching again. Jesus. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, it's not going to let me pick that arrow up for some reason. It's funny how that works. Yeah, it won't let me pick that arrow up. Jeez, what about that one there? The one that's through on the other side. No, ain't gonna happen. Oh well, arrows are cheap. Oh, another deer bladder. Alright, so I can make... I wonder if it lasts... How long it lasts for. That's a good question. I must, um... Must uh, on the uh, forums see if anybody knows. All right, what do we got? Yeah, we got any crazy zombies running around at the moment, which is kind of nice. All right, so we got four. Got that deer bladder, and we got some fat. We we'll make another biofuel. All right, well, let's go check things out here. Look at those bungee sticks. Where's a friggin' zombie when you need him? I'd love to get one to chase me up there now. Oh, char oh man, charcoal, yes! Another charcoal. What a sweet find that is. That stuff is so rare. Anything going on in here? Oh, we got food there. Empty bottle. Yeah. 
salt packet. Alright. Oh, there's another empty bottle. We should grab them. Um, again, like I mentioned in a previous episode, um, even if there's something there you don't need, it's a good idea to grab it anyways and then drop it if you don't need it. That way, um, other good stuff will spawn back. Sometimes there's stuff on the hood of this truck, like ammo and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, food. Take that. And we might as well eat one of these buggers. Actually, I'll eat a rabbit. There we go. Well, that brought us up pretty good. Oh, there. Now there's some ammo. And the last time I checked on this one, it had like a... Was it a crowbar or a, an axe? So I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab it and then just drop it. Because I didn't need it. And uh, it paid off. Got some ammo out of the deal. Alright. Oh, and here we go here. This was an empty bottle before up here. So I got some more ammo. 308 too. Wonderful. Now this darn friggin' bottle here. You can't pick that up. Just won't let you. Kind of weird. That happens up here and there, though. It's a glitch. Alright, so we have anything else on these shelves? Anything down over here? Or, oh, empty bottle. Grab that. Sometimes there's a weapon on that barrel. Alright, let's look up in here. Nothing in there. Man, it's rare I find anything in that van. Alright, check this guy. Uh, pretty quiet right now. Alright, don't mind that. Be nice to have a few zombies over to mess up. Go, scrap cloth. Check these two out. Uh, see now there I have binoculars so I'm just gonna drop those and then um, maybe something better will spawn in the next time scrap cloth alright we'll check these two out oh scrap metal good awesome that's a good find Metal again, two of them. Perfect. Scrap cloth. Scrap metal. Nice. Okay. Alright, check these two out. These two. Good, all more scrap metal, awesome. Okay. Oh, nice. Huh. Yeah, it did well there. Good looting. Yeah. Okay. Alright, what have we got room for here? Oh, we got lots of room. Okay. Well, it's pretty quiet right now. Um, so we'll just survey the area, see who's around, if anybody, if any zombies or wolves. And this is a good opportunity to get some more wood. Yep, I will. Fifteen hits for a big tree. Fifteen. Oh, look out. Now, my understanding is the more noise you make, uh, you attract them, the zombies. Now, I know that for a fact with gunshots. Um, that's why I don't use them. I don't use, uh, I use the crossbow. It's a silent killer. Because uh, when you start using a gun, all of a sudden you're surrounded by the darn things in every direction. 
but um, so you know, you, you pretty pretty uh, pretty definite that they keep on, uh, on the noise. At least it seems that way, anyways. But as far as cutting these trees down, I don't know if that attracts them or not. I could be wrong, but it just seemed that way to me. Somebody used a damn gun. Um, next thing you knew, I was surrounded. It didn't matter where I was either. If I shot one or two of them. All of a sudden, they're they're all around you. All right. Now let's see. What are we carrying here now? Oh yeah, we're almost full. Okay. Well, let's get this stuff put away. Check this thing. Yeah, you must have. Okay. Or somebody else did. Alright, so we gotta watch out for these darn sticks. Not that they... They don't seem to hurt you. And they don't seem to really do as much damage as they used to do on the zombies either, but... They sure slow them down, and that's, that's the main thing. Definitely got some wood to put away. So we'll get rid of that. Where's my wood here? There we are, 94 logs. Oh, we're getting a good collection going there. So now we got 109. Um, scrap metals. Alright, where's my metal? Scrap metal, there we are. Seven there. look into that definitely maybe they won't run so uh, so much oh yeah I gotta put this canned food away too there we go. all right so what's left the venison the animal fat and the bottles two two three rounds we'll put in here okay now okay so now we have Look at that, we got five charcoal, and they never seem to run out. Uh, venison. Animal fat. There we go. Sweet. Well, that was a pretty good haul. Alright. And I'm not sure what, I, what I'm going to do as far as building. I'm thinking about adding on a second story. Um... But I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do or not. Um, there's quite a few options here. I could, um, I could ex oh, and now I know, I know what I'm going to do now with all this stuff that I've been collecting. I want to start a garden, but <clears throat> I want to be able to enclose it. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll build an enclosure this area right here um, and start 
start a garden. Because I have a, a whole bunch of wheat seeds and corn seeds. And I can start making uh, more fuel with corn. Yeah, this seems to be the probably best side to do it on. Definitely. But like I said, I want to be able to enclose it. I want to be able to close it in so people can't steal my, my corn and stuff. Oh, I never realized that post was broken. Huh. All right. Oh, uh, something else we can do too. My tire. Oh. Okay, I'm good. All right. Um, I should go and get some more berries. Make some berry juice. Blackberry juice. I'm gonna get down over the hill to do that. Get the crossbow out handy. Oh, is it starting to get dark? Yeah, the sun's going down. I better do this quickly. It's a lot more dangerous now at night time. Alright, where did I see all those very... Oh yeah, here we go. That zombie though. Wow, it's only one that I see right now. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, jeez, I hate that one that doesn't. Another one doesn't want to work. Stupid. I don't know why they can't fix that bug. Why it does that. Hmm, I guess it was just that one zombie. Uh, the, um, they were, oh, she's a deer. Where's he running to? Take a breather. Ah. Where is he going? Jesus, he ain't gonna stop. You know, they should make it so they bleed out. That's ridiculous. Will you stop running? Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna lose sight of him again. Damn it. Oh no, wait a minute, there he is. Where'd he go now? We got him. Yeah, anyways, they released this patch that makes it um, so that at nighttime the wolf spawns are much higher and the uh, the runner running zombie spawns are much higher. So you, uh, you don't want to get caught out at night unless you're really loaded for bear. That was a patch that just came out. Oh yeah, look at this. This is ridiculous. Why I can't pick those damn berries. Oh, we got that. This darn oh, this hitbox are 
something is not good. Look at that. Jerking around like a madman. Alright, where's that wolf? Well, that should be enough to make lots of berry juice. Alright, let's get back. Oh, there's that wolf. Let's see if I can tag that bugger. I got dinged. Wasn't much I could do about that. Because this is this server's headshot only. Alright, looks like we're safe for now. Okay, got some wolf meat. Uh, oh, I better use one of my bandages right now. There we go, it's starting to climb now. Okay, good. Alright, we'll grab a few more berries on the way. Doesn't make for a good video when you gotta like wave around while you're hammering the E button. Trying to get a prompt happening. Alright, well we'll make some of that lovely old blackberry juice. That sure makes a difference. Easy one to learn to. Um, you know, just uh, pure purified water and um, berries. Very easy to learn. That's if you think of it. Um, like again, you. The only way you're going to discover recipes is if you just try different combinations. There we go. So let's see. We'll put the deer bladder away. Ding, there it is there. And oh, I got a bunch of branches too. I'll oh, show the branches in here. Where the other ones are. We got 22 berries. Animal fat, we better put that away in the meat as well. So we'll put the animal fat in here. Alright. Um, well, we're not going to start for a while, that's for sure. Okay, berries, put them all together. Um, that's just put me. And that's, that's the blackberry juice. Alright, so now what we gotta do is we got to grab the purified water. Where's my good water? Uh, let's put these back here for now. Empty bottles. Where's my clean water? What? Purified water. There it is. Alright, so. <coughs> okay, so. Crafting. Uh, where are you here? Blackberry juice. There we are. Blackberry juice. And we'll craft six of them. Quite a few berries. that's another thing you can do um, if you put all your building supplies in one box which I tried to do uh, as you can see all my wood is in here branches wood planks nails uh, metal shards the whole works 
Um, if you put them, if you open that box up, you go into your crafting menu, it will actually take, instead of you have to move the stuff out of the, the storage box, you just open it up, and then if you want to craft something, as long as you got the ingredients in that box, it'll craft it up for you. So, um, alright, well, what are we going to craft? Yeah. Oh, arrows, right. So, it's probably wood and arrows. Wood and arrows, there we are. So, Okay, oh, we grabbed 114, don't need that many. Alright, I like to carry a boat. Oh, uh, around 30. That's 20. We'll just keep going until the belt pouch is uh, full. Oh, something else too, and I wanted to mention this. Um, I noticed that um, while I'm recording, this um, inventory screen flickers in my recordings, but it doesn't flicker in my game and I have no idea why it's doing that and I apologize for that um, it uh, I, I don't understand it at all okay that's enough all right that'll do all right so that's 27 so that's good but yeah I know it's it must be awful annoying to see that flickering I'm doing uh, crafting and stuff. I had no idea it was doing that. I didn't realize until I reviewed my videos. Sometimes I don't even bother looking at them. <laughs> I just put a bit. Um, but I, I, I thought everything was going fine. Um, you know, I, every once in a while I check to see how things are going um, on the uh, bit screen when I'm doing recording. I guess I just wasn't in my inventory menu when I was checking it, and um, I didn't see that happen. So I do apologize for that, and I, I don't know how to fix it, but I'm going to try and find out. Because um, that just looks terrible. Anyways, um, so we're running into that 40 minute mark, so I think I'll, uh, I'll cut the video off here. And uh, again, I apologize for that... Um, inventory uh, screen flickering the way it does. Um, I am going to investigate that, see what I can do to fix it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and bye-bye for now.